What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to winterize your bees. It's finally getting cold around here. I think it's time to wrap them up and close down the entrance, reduce the entrances, I mean. Also, the bottom board is a screen board, I'll show you in a minute. So that air can go in and out, in the summer time the bees get too hot. In the winter time I need to close it down so that way they stay warmer. And also we're going to flip the top board. Well, let me just show you what I do to winterize my bees. Also, I got new bottom boards that is a lot better what I used to have. These bees are definitely doing good. I'm not even going to feed them because they have plenty of stores. So what I'm going to do is replace this bottom board for something new and I'll show you why in a minute. There you go. I'll stack this down real quick. What I'm gonna do is just grab this bottom board. And also right here, we got entrance reducer. What we're going to do is flip it and only give them a small entrance like this. And this is the new technology of a bottom board. This is way better. In the summertime, I open this up. All I have to do is come up from under the hive and take this board out. And in the winter time, all I have to do is just slide this board in and that way they winterized. So that way I don't have to put pillows under or anything like that. That's the best. Going to put the reducer down this way. Now we're just lining everything up so there's no gaps. Now we'll put the super back on top of it. This hive is stuck with honey, it's really heavy. So maybe in a month I'm gonna start feeding them. And then normally I would put an empty box right here. And then I can fit the feeder jar inside here and that way give them sugar syrup if they need any. And also in the summertime we have all this ventilation so that way the bees don't get too hot. This time I'm just gonna flip them around like this and then cover them up. So I'm switching all my bottom boards to this. That way I can just come in and pull this board out before the summer starts. And before winter, I put it in, and that way the hive is winterized. Otherwise, if it gets too cold, I'd have to figure it out to put some kind of pillow under there or lift it up and then put a board under it and then put it down. It's just way too much work than putting this thing in. And one more thing we're going to do, we don't have to do this. Last year I did it and I didn't lose any of my bees over the winter. So why not? I'll do it again. And I'm sure you wouldn't have to do that in Florida either. It just depends on the state. Also, you gotta worry about condensation inside of the hive. You don't want your bees soaked and wet during the winter and that way they'll freeze and die. So you just gotta be careful what you're doing. Last year I did have a bunch of mold on the top board. So that's why I switched with these screen boards. We'll see how we do this year. And that's what it's going to look like. And that's it, this is what I do to my beehives to winterize them. And now I have to do pretty much the same thing to the rest of them. Here's another hive and this is what I'm talking about. You see all that mold? It's going to be really hot inside of the hive. But outside it's going to be cold in the winter time. So we're going to get condensation and that's not good for the bees. You gotta keep moisture to the minimum inside of the hive. So maybe I'll do something about it in the future. I'll look up ideas and I'll come up with the best one and show it to you what, how to deal with the condensation. And here's another reason why we have to reduce the entrance during the winter time because mice will get in and it will mess up your hive. You know how it will stink so bad. You don't want that. And I'm gonna put the, them back out here. That's good that it's heavy. That means it has a lot of honey that they stored away for the winter. So I think they'll have no problem surviving. It's October and as you can see this bee is still bringing pollen. This one has pollen too. So that's awesome. Well that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.